Welcome back. In previous videos, we've learned how to make scatter plots using Plotly Express. We've also learned how to make line plots using Plotly Express. In this video, we're going to look at how to make histograms using Plotly Express. For that, I'm just going to create a new directory, and the link to this is going to be in the description link to where the github code actually is so let's just go here and say instagram you can create a new file call it iris instagram okay we're going to use the iris data set okay For this, we want to see the distribution, how the length is distributed in the Iris data set. First thing you want to do in any project, you want to import the libraries you're going to be using at the top of the file. Let's do that. So, Let's import the iris data set. Let's call it iris df. You can call it whatever you want. It's a CSV, so we're going to use the read CSV function. And it's in the data folder. This is it, iris the data frame. So iris.csv. Let's first test this to see that it runs. There's no issue. Good. So we have it, no issue. Next thing we want to do, let's see what it's in the data set. So let's print. Now, if you're working in a Jupyter Notebook environment, you wouldn't need to put print. But since we're writing this in pure code, we need to do that. So let's see what it is. Let's assume we want to see the distribution of the lengths for the entire types of flowers. Right? How are we going to do it? Let's call something let's say basic hist Instagram. So we're going to use the Instagram function. So for histograms, you, you can specify the data frame, you can specify what you want on your X axis, you can specify if you want what you want as your color, you can specify several things. We can also specify, you can also specify the title. Let's take it one step at a time and we build upon it. Let's say we want to look at the entire distribution. Okay, we know our data frame is iris. We already know that. Um, for our x axis, we know we want it to be one of the column names. That's what Plotly expects, expects. Okay. Let's just run this first and see what it looks like. Basic Instagram. We're going to use the show method to display it. Okay, look at that. <laughs> you know, it looks very simple and very basic, which is what we wanted, right? We just wanted Instagram to show certain information so we know the different so these are the sizes the, the length you know six centimeter in between six and seven is more common with 32 count you know so that's what instagram is useful for let's assume we want to increase the bean size the number of you know we want to make it a bit more granular you can do that using the number of beans attributes 
Okay, let's say 10. Let's see what that looks like. Run this again. Change it to let's say 30. Okay, you can see how it changes if as we increase the bin size. You know, very interesting stuff. How about if we want something a bit more complex? You know, this is very straightforward. So let's say instead of just one, we also want to see the effect of the colors, right? So we can do that. We can now add, before we do that, let's just add a title to this one and then we can do the next one. Title. So this is, um, Histogram plot of sepal length. Don't forget to put a comma there. Let's take it to the next row because it's looking really long. Okay, let's run this. And there you have it. Um, very straightforward. Very, very straightforward. What if we don't want to just look at one parameter or one flower type, right? What if we want to look at all of them? So for that, let's let's create another Python file on the Instagram. Instagram plot. Okay, let's copy a lot of the code we've used before, so we don't have to be. For this, let's say east plot by species, okay. For this, let's specify the data frame as usual. That's the iris. Okay. What well, do we want our x axis? Okay, that's what we want on our x axis. So let's see what this looks like and we're going to improve on it. Okay, so let's assume we want different colors to represent the different flowers. How are we going to do it? You can specify color here and the name of the column that has the categorical variable which you want to use. In this case, it's species. We run this again. And you can see how that just changes. Um, let me expand this. So you can select or unselect different ones. Okay, but it still looks, it looks a bit weird. So let's specify the number of bins. Um, 50 should be fine. Let's run this again. Okay, well, looks a bit more granular. Let's say, so that let's say we do 30. Let's run it. Okay, that's what it looks like. What you'd notice is for histograms, it shows 
just to count but if instead we wanted a distribution on this we can actually do that as well it's norm so it's asking okay what normalization technique do you want for the histogram in this case we can say select just one at a time okay and we can see how that affects the plot so let's have a quick recap we're able to make you know very basic histogram plots using plotly express see that we can specify the data frame we can specify what we want on our x-axis specify the bean size and we can specify the title okay, let's put the title to this other plot so over here, we did pretty much the same thing, only this time we're able to add a color attribute as well. And that's really neat because that way you can visually compare the different flowers and how their lengths differ. Very interesting. Let's run this again because we just added the title. Yeah, and there you have it. Um, Plotly Express is extremely easy to use, and I'm just I've shown how it's easy to make histograms using Plotly Express. Like to keep creating content like this. Let me know in the comments below what you'd want me to cover in the data science space, and the web app space, and the data visualization space. Just let me know and. I can create a playlist around it. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.